Right, I've just brought you back because uh, just had the wife, the wife's just been on the phone. She said, uh, do you want me to come and get you because it's torrential? I went, no, I'm all right. This <coughs> one, but it's blowing a gale. So, I think she said something like it's, uh, it's meant to be 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts or something like that. It is blowy. It's definitely blowy. Yeah. Uh, you can or see. You see that passive pole moving, that walking stick. I like say that's that's why I think uh, the benefit of uh, at least having a couple of bungees on, you know what I mean, on two corners, it gives a bit of gives a bit of leeway. You know what I'm saying? Look, see where that's moving and then but it's uh, I should have done an airframe. And I knew, I knew, like I said to you when I first came in, I knew when I was going to get that chair. But, uh, it's uh, definitely gale force winds, like. <coughs> Excuse me, definitely gale force winds. And we are on. There is it. There you are. 25 past 10 nearly. It's raining. See when it gets like this, you know, I start getting the two mines right. I just drop that, drop that end down or but, uh, yeah. You can either do it roughly, you know what I mean? Just drop it and pin it and just have the basher over you, like the top basher thing over you. You know what I mean? Like literally on top of you. Or you start getting out and start moving about and I'm not going to put you back where they came I'm in bed now. It's, uh, I'm confident that that will hold up, like. Confident it'll hold up. I'm going to cross it. I think it's going to keep it out. Oh. I can't make a bungee out of Can you see that bungee there going down there? Can you just see it? Yeah, so... Uh, I, I can't use this phone at all, man. You have to bear with me, man. It must be dreadful watching it. I'm going to... Uh, oh, it's too... Oh, it's too good. I'm not even a chance to put the kit on. That's uh, something else in there, very, un very underrated for the kit, in my opinion, is a thermos flask. You know, even a 500ml one. Last, you know, your last brew at night, and like, you can uh, put a bit of extra water in your kettle, can't you, and uh, top your flask up. But the very least, it gives you nice, something nice and warm in the morning to wash your face and that with, or, you know, you cut your boil time in the morning if it's not, if it's not boiling hot, hot full of coffee, it should be. Which just means like times like this in the middle of the night, you know, to get yourself a cup of coffee. And... I could do like, you know what I mean? I could uh oh, yeah, man. Are you picking this up, this wind or not? Yeah. Well I was down over there, you know the last couple of videos when I got out? Absolutely no reception at all, but up this hill a bit. And I'm on a hill. I'm on a hill behind a couple of trees. But, uh Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. Oh. hoo hoo. Well, a couple of things, a couple of things this is proven. First of all, I can put a basher up. And second of all, DD tops, they hold up, man. Because I haven't got a ridge line on. 
It's just basically two walking sticks, two bungees pegged out, and the back end pegged out three places. I think I've already pegged it out, to tell you the truth. But uh, definitely, she's definitely holding up. Like another thing about the bungees and that, you know, if you set it so it's taut enough, there is a bit of give. To tell you the truth, I think that, that I think that there, uh, I think that walking stick there, uh, that walking pole, whatever, checking pole, whatever you want to call it, I think it's moving, man. I think it's, uh, I think it's gone down in a bit, you know what I mean? And the wind, as I say, sometimes this top is touching me, man. I and mean, I just don't trust this bivy bag, this uh, M-Tech bivy bag enough to take it out in weather like this and that that's just all I've got, you know what I mean? Because I live in Scotland, man. You know? Oh, no way. Should I come and get you? <laughs> She's great, isn't she? I've just seen the news. It's... Oh. Oh. She said she's just seen the news, right? I reckon there's been a weather warning on the local news. Really, really now. I love it though. Oh, dude, I'm really cool. No, no, that's. Look at the movement on that too. Definitely move. Oh, that definitely move. The ground's getting softer now. Well, that's just never stopped moving that pole. Can you hear me? That's never stopped moving that pole. I should have done an airframe, man. You know, I might eat my own words here. I might drop this. I might have to drop this fashion, here, man. Definitely might have to drop this bash if it carries on. Which is holding up. And so am I. Temperature's definitely dropping in all that wind chill. Yeah. Just what I remember, right? I used to do, I used, every year I used to go down beside the air waterfront there, right? Just over on a tidal stretch. Hard rock, hard routine rock, I call it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, and I was out in similar weather like this. In the uh, top. It wasn't a deep, deep top. I couldn't remember what kind of top it was. But the top toe, I mean toe, that's how blue it was. <coughs> And I generally do 24 hours, but I think I got pulled off about, I mean, the next afternoon. Well, that's how the car to get me. Like, well, she, didn't, she didn't have to, but she did. She said, I'm at the car park, you know what I mean? Or I had to, I had to break down. And then I went out, uh, I think it was the following day or the day after. And, uh, and there we again. Severe weather warning, it was blown it down. Absolute hurricane for, well, hurricane, is it? It was, it was touching 100 miles an hour. And out in the open, I mean, I'm shaded a bit between these trees. That would be blown, man. It's the old Beaufort scale, isn't it? You know what I mean? On the Beaufort scale, it's fucking windy. <coughs> oh. And I'm going to repeat myself, right? But it's just, uh, I know where I am, right? It's a it, it, steep, steep hill, right? And it is steep, right? Like, well, I'll tell you what, man, I took it right out of me. Do you know what I'm going to lose? So I'm going to put my 
happen. There's a good chance I can lose this bash on me. They took it right out of me, man. Right, I was angry with myself. I right, say I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try and get up as often as I can before they say that's it. You can't do it anymore. I don't go out in the winter now. Although it's been it's it's winter now still up here. When I used to go, you know, like all weathers in the winter, man. Get out, date. Not just testing the kitten, it's testing yourself. I say there's a couple of things holding me down. <coughs> Today brought us home a little bit. So the days I've done the Penang Way and that long walk, so they're just gone. And it hurts me back like bubbly, man, no matter how many painkillers I take. <coughs> I just kind of take the weight anymore. <coughs> Yeah, but I'm all right, you know what I mean? Once you get yourself established. But, eh. Uh, a bit I left it a bit late to come out, you know what I mean? I should have come out a bit short, a bit early. And, but I had to wait for something. I didn't have to, but I did. I waited for something. I think it was gone. I think I think it was gone for by the time I'd got to... Well, actually, I didn't even get to where I, I, I was nearly where I wanted to go, but I just kept looking. I just thought, you know what? It, the weather started, you know what I mean? The wind was picking up and that, and the, the light was going. I thought I'm going to have to get myself in. I nearly went back down to that place I was the other day. But, uh, well, I'm all right where I am. And I say, me, me. Be bivy, be tarp, basher, whatever you want to call it. I call it a basher, right? Well, there's a couple of reasons why I call it a basher, but it's, it's a, I think it's a Hindi, Hindi word, isn't it? Is it Hindi or an Indian word? Like, temporary shelter or temporary housing. A bit like Jodhpur now, like, you know what I mean? Or well, Jodhpur's a place, but... Oh, dear, man. Yeah. I don't like the way that pulls, uh I've moved that, I've re-erected that twice, man. That must be causing a divot. Right, that's it for now. Signing off, because go over a certain time, you can't get these on YouTube. Just let you know, is it? It is blown. It's definitely Gale Force Guns. <laughs>